In this video, I'm going to show you how we can go from this on a DM1701 to this on a DM1701 by installing the OpenGD77 firmware. It will make the radio a lot easier to use. It makes the screen a lot more attractive to see. And it makes the radio a lot easier to program too. So let's have a look at how we're going to go about it and what software we need. First thing uh, we're going to need to do, which I've already done in this instance, is download the latest OpenGD77 uh, CPS software available from the OpenGD77 website. I'll leave a link with this video. I'll also leave a link to the two pieces of additional software that you're going to need but bear in mind this video is being made in early 2024 these links may change i can't always go back and update the video so google is your friend here but um i'm hoping um these links will will hold for some time anyway but let's uh, assume that you've downloaded the latest open gd77 cps now, because we're going to upgrade the firmware, the first thing we need to do is go to the Extras tab and we'll go down here to Firmware Loader. And Firmware Loader is going to ask us for two files, okay? Um, but before we get to that, we just need to make sure that one of the options, obviously I'm flashing a DM1701 here, one of the options is the DM1701. You can also see we've got a UV380 here. And we've got the MD9600. Um, but if your radio type isn't shown here, just go up to radio type. I'll just close that box a moment. Go up to radio type on the menu and you'll see that there are two options. So the first option, if we select that one, the GD7, it starts with GD77. And we go back to extras, firmware loader. We'll see now we have a different set of radios in this box, okay? So if your DM1701 hasn't appeared, just close, radio type, second option, extras, firmware loader. Click the radio button for the DM1701. Donut software, that's what I go for first. Um, so we'll click on that. And I've actually got it there now it's uh, MD9600 CSV you'll see it's a um, donor software comes from the MD9600 don't ask me why but that is the correct file we'll just select that okay and you'll see we've got a success notice there so we okay that let's go to the open firmware file and update button now I'll click that and I just need to find where I have saved that again. As I say, I'll put a link to the software that you need. And I think I've got it there. Yep, so let's select that open DM1701. Okay, so you can see now I've got an error. My radio is not connected. Okay, I'm going to put this radio into DFU mode now to flash the firmware. So what I need to do is the PTT button here and the button above it so that one and the top button depress those while the radio switched off I'm going to turn the radio on okay you'll see that I've got a blank screen nothing lit there but the LED is flashing um, red and uh, green so the radio is now in DFU mode um, we'll connect it up to the programming lead via the jacks here and then we can flash the firmware so now my radio is connected and uh, we're in uh, DFU mode. So let's try again. DFU mode, as I showed you earlier, we should have the LED flashing red and green with a blank screen. So let's just go back over what we did. The official firmware, the donor file is there open that and we've got a success message open firmware 
let's go to open dm1701 we select that file and open and straight away now the program is starting the firmware flash takes a little while but not too long so by the magic of youtube you'll see that we've completed the uploads completed we can just close that um, you should get i'll show you the message that you should get on the screen when this is done you should get a settings updated message and i suggest you then switch your radio off and back on again and you should be fully loaded with the new open gd77 firmware